All right, well, this video is for Slider, and um, thanks for that good video you put out on how to put a variable capacitor across the um, base in the collector of the Slayer Exciter to be able to tune a Slayer Exciter and be able to do the same thing over here in this mini Tesla coil, which is basically a Slayer Exciter. Uh, this is the circuit, and um, it was Gary Bluer came up with this years and years ago, and we, we coined the phrase Slayer Exciter, and it was all inspired by Dr. Stifler's SEC experiments and all the works and circuits that he put out, but this is the basic Slayer Exciter. And initially, uh, when Gary came up with the circuit, we were tuning it by moving this primary coil up and down the secondary, and that was the way we were tuning them. And then later on we found out that if we made the little ones, we could make this coil small, which is what uh, Slider showed in his last video, and put a ferrite core in that and tune it that way. But then uh, Slider showed in his last uh, uh, video that you can put a uh, variable capacitor right in here, basically between the base and the collector, and tune the circuit, the tank circuit, using a variable capacitor. And that's what I've done here. This is a little pico uh, capacitor, variable capacitor, put in parallel with the primary right here, which is the white wire. And then uh, this is a little ferrite slug that you can move back and forth to tune the circuit also, and that's on the secondary. And the way this is operating right here, it's being uh, driven by this uh, transmitter. This is the... Uh, mini Tesla coil that's transmitting across air to here. So I've got basically a radio station and then a radio receiver like this picking up the, the um, transmission through the air here. And it's coming in through this what they call an Avromenko plug. It's uh, switching diodes. Uh, one in 914 switching diodes. One comes in this way and the other one is the negative coming out this way. And with this high-frequency capacitive link-up, you can power things remotely. And that's how this is being powered. It's being powered by this. There's no power on this one at all. It's being powered by this. It's transmitting the energy across here wirelessly. And um, uh, what I'm showing here is a tunable secondary with Slider's idea of putting the capacitor across the primary. And so on the circuit, you can tune this by putting a variable inductor right in here, or you can put the variable capacitor right in here. And I'm thinking I could do the same thing on the other one I'm going to build up, perhaps, by putting a variable inductor on this, or else putting a variable cap, this um, variable cap idea across the primary, but uh, once this gets into a resonance, uh, then these guys are talking to one another, and it, it does all the neat stuff that um, we've done in our other experiments. Um, this is a wireless transmission of energy using this uh, very inexpensive um, musical mini Tesla coil, which is really a Slayer exciter. But um, anyway, I just wanted to thank Slider. Thank you, Slider, for showing me how to do that uh, variable capacitor in the circuit so I can tune these up into resonance and I've got the parts to build up another one of these mini Tesla coils and it would not be hard at all to add in that component. Thanks for watching.